Hey there guys, it's Wesson 888 here and I am back again with some more Fish and Planet 4th of July. This guys, I'm still back here. And obviously I've got none of the laws. They're upsetting enough. None of them. Not a single one. <sighs> well, looks like I've got no choice. So, <laughs> because we're going to be trying to do one of these missions, the tags, because that's what we can do. So I need to get the Patriot Walker. And the s rattlesnake worm. God, I couldn't think of the. I couldn't even pronounce the name. Rattlesnake worm. So, Patriot Walker. Well, the rattlesnake worm. We'll get the one in. It's not a bad deal. And the Patriot Walker. I think it's that one. Pretty sure it's that one. Let me just double check. Patriot Walker. God, that's what he used for quite a lot of my bait coins. Right, so I need to go to Emerald Lake. Sadly. And I should have bought the advanced license ages ago, but I can't really pay for it now because I'm going to need to save the bait coins as much as I can. Sadly, so I'm going to do a bit of fishing here for today. So I'm going to travel. I should have actually bought this when I went there the first time and had it all set. But I didn't. My own fault. But it's fine. Right, so I'm going to go into a private room for now. Make it a little bit easier. So, as you know, we're going to be fishing for two different fish. Basically, pike in my eyes. Oh, walleyes one and pike zero. So, we've got the Patriot Walker, which is for the pike. More than anything else. And, of course, I'm going to be casting a bit too short because of the weight. Oh, great. I can't cast too far because of the weight. <laughs> oh, woe with me. Oh, well, it's fine. Now, on, we're going for a Patriot Walker, which means I need to make sure I have... It's good, I'll do my tail team leader already on. Right, so I'm going to aim for it up around there. And it's a walker, which makes it even more interesting, because I don't really do well with walkers at all. You just drag up a bit. I'm not going to say I'm one of the best at these, but. There we go. Could drag up again. And again. Right, that's set my line. So I should have. And hopefully, we've got the Northern Pike. Could I drag up again? I probably could, but I would be risking losing it, so I'm not going to run. Come on. Come on, you. Get up in there. That's an eight-pound fish. That's not bad. Okay, I'm happy with that. So at least we've got one of the historical pike. Oh, look, there's the uh, tag on its side. Which is kind of weird, because these are the heaviest pike I've seen on this lake, actually, to be honest. <laughs> Yay! So we're going to get some bait coins from that. So we quickly check. Historical. So again, straight away, as you see there, because we're... If you see that, sorry. As you can see here, if you catch at least 50 historical fish, you're going to get the stars, the spangles, crankbait, for nothing. So... That's going to save you 50 bait coin, guys. Um, so until I catch more, I won't know exactly whichever ones are going to save me a bit of money for. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> I'll be honest, guys. I've been fishing for a good 20 minutes now. Near enough. And oh my god. <laughs> just to get one more fish on so far has been just a nightmare. I've had a change pickerel, but... Well, just to get another fish, and this has definitely got to be a historical northern pike. Jeez, this. Just... Yeah, this is definitely a historical one. Well. Am 
nice, nice historical. That's my second one. Right, last fish. It's just going to be an easy swish for the pike, or is this going to take me ages? Oh, yes, this should be a historical northern pike. Awesome. Right, this is the last one. I do apologize, guys. I have actually not recorded the other few that I caught. They took quite a bit of time. But we've got the last historical northern pike. Now, I'm a bit surprised you don't actually get any cash for the novel pike, but, you know, at least we're getting something for the other fish. And they aren't a bad size, good bit of experience, and we just leveled up because of it, so I'm not going to probably complain. Yay, so we have now some access to some extra items. Get some gear, which I won't be using in this. So, we've now got the novel pike. We've got all the historical... Seriously, it's now just done that to me. I think it's because I leveled up. Right. On track, retrack it, and there we go. Right, so now we have to go for the walleye. <sighs> now, the walleye, I know, is over in that spot there. Should be, anyway. But because we're now lower fishing more than anything else, I'm not sure how well I'm going to do. So, I'm now going to see... How well I can get up there now. I'm not sure exactly what I need to do for this. Now, obviously, as you can see, I am in a public server now. Not a private one. I did actually ask people what they would prefer to use it or what they are using. Uh, somebody I know is actually using a casting. And uh, someone's using a spinner. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see exactly what they're using and why they're using them for. Okay, so, doing straight. Looks like it'll work for the walleye. Okay, guys, so I've been fishing a bit. And I've now got myself up to a rainy day. Um, I just couldn't <laughs> really be asked with a lot of the fishing a lot through the days. Now, the walleye have, as I can see, have been a problem. I'm on day six. And nothing. Uh, I've had to look up a bit of footage. And I've done previous footage as well for this before. I don't remember I've got a note somewhere <laughs> saying that the walleye, or the historical walleye, bite more in the rainy season than the normal days. <laughs> so anyone wanting to get the historical walleye at Emerald Lake, during a rainy day, the best method is supposed to be stop and go. Now I'm going to try and see if I can catch a few from this dock. So hopefully it won't take me too long to get these fish to bite. There we go, got it that time. Now, usually the historical fish will take the line a bit, as long as it's not the historical pike. Believe it or not, I've been catching a few historical pike with this lure. So, come on. Come on, historical fish, come on. Come on. That game, I've been playing you for ages, hours, and I want you just to come in. Because I want this historical pike in. Not historical pike, historical walleye in. So I can be done with this mission. Come on. Please be a historical one, because if you're not, I'm going to be very much annoyed. Come on. Just, just, come here. I know I should play with the fish a bit more, but I just... There we go. That's got a tag on it. Finally, a one with a tag on it. <sighs> so as you can see, it's got its tag on its side there. Awesome. Oh, here we 
second. This was a fighter. Come on. Okay, this is a historical Northern Pike. If this is a historical Warlight, I'll be shocked. This is definitely a historical Northern Pike. Yeah, that's a historical Northern Pike. There's no way it could be anything else. If this is a historical Warlight, I'll be surprised. Come on. Come on, game. Come on. That was actually a walleye. That's not a bad one. That's a good size as well. Six pounds. It's the heaviest I've caught so far. Awesome. Right, last one. I'm actually surprised that wasn't a historical northern pike. Oh my god, finally. I should have just fast forward to the rainy season. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, at least now. I should have find it a little bit easier. Come on, last one. That one caught a bit easier. Mm, doesn't seem like it's going to be. A... No, that might be a historical warlight. I'm not losing you. I'm not losing you. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. That has been a lot easier catching them in the rain, guys. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Catching the historical walleye in the rainy season, stop and go, is going to be a lot easier than in the normal seasons of the days. Yay, historical tag. We can do the bonus. Yeah, okay, I'll worry about that in a minute. So, guys. Like I said, I changed my rod from... I had to go back to the main menu. So, I did have my Loki on me, which had the uh, for a hook, obviously with the setup I showed you, but I did change it to my elemental, which actually has a two out hook with the rattle snake worm. Uh, and yes, I was using a Kalisto MG 2500 with braid, six pound line. I had a titanium leader, seven pounds. Like I said, jig head was a quarter ounce, but it's a two out hook. With a snake head. Now I'll let them know that in just a minute. So yeah, guys, I was able to get the historical pike and my walleye. Now just in case anyone's wondering, you can get the pike, as you saw from over there. Now if you have your kayak over there, and you aim it more up into, sorry I'm having to use my other actual head, up in that area, 
again, it's going to take a bit of time, guys. Um, some people do say just casting in this area with your walker, you have a chance of getting your pike as well. It's a pain. Okay, I know. Hopefully this video has helped you out a little bit. Like I said, I've tested and tried everything that I could. Obviously, I don't remember things. I've even had to look up a few videos myself. Don't get me wrong. Rainy days seem to be better for the walleye. Normal days seem to be fine for the historical pike, but they can be a bit of a pain. Take your time, guys, and just enjoy it. Even if you don't catch the historical pike, you're going to get a load of fish in turn. And, you know, you think about it, I've caught 12 historical fish because we've been trying to get some walleye. You know, if you can save up enough and get enough of the historical fish, you can get the uh, star spackled prank bait for nothing. You're going to save yourself, I think, it's like 50 bait coin, and you're going to make some bait coin. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully this has helped you guys out, and I'll see you in the next episode, because obviously I'll be getting the next mission done. So I'll see you very shortly, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And happy fishing.